Tom, you've got five. Oh. I like Oh, you're a mean, mean bitch here. Um, I have some questions about uh, uh, the tobacco issue. Um, N no, well, I was going to if I had ten minutes, but I've only got five. I won't volunteer. No, because it's the other. Outcome. So we need Finish. random tobacco, not yeah, TGA. No, we have to take on notice yeah. of other tobacco. Yes, I was going. I'll put some. I'll probably put some questions on notice for you, uh, Professor Skerritt. But uh, tobacco. So the. So well, just Secretary, keep... maybe if um, yeah. Senator Lionhelm asks his question, we'll see mm, if we can. You can tell me. At, at, so I've, I've pursued this issue, as you know, for a number of uh, Senate estimates um, sessions, and I'm going to quote to you a, uh, a statement by Mr. Smythe for the department from uh, February. 2015 um, <laughs> estimates regarding the size of the illicit tobacco market. He said, we'd highly dispute a number of claims that have been made about by organisations, in particular the tobacco industry, as to the size of the illicit market in Australia. He said, we would estimate it to be somewhere <coughs> between 2 and 4 per cent. I know there is a KPMG report that we have some serious concerns about regarding its validity and the work that was undertaken there, the process that they went through. So we utilise the National Drug and Alcohol Survey that's conducted by the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, and that has a representative sample of 22,000 people versus the KPMG study that looked at picking rubbish out of litter bins at a survey sample size of about 2,000 to estimate their 14 per cent. So we would hold the AIHW figures as being more re representative. We would dismiss the KPMG report. So my first question is, does the department still highly dispute claims by the tobacco industry as to the size of the illicit market in Australia? <laughs> Do Dr Studdett, weren't you in another session earlier today? You're multi-talented, <laughs> yes, aren't you? <laughs> I'm afraid um, my turn's uh, gone, Senator, but yeah. uh, in I brief I that. could say that we continue to rely and uh, trust the National Drug Strategy Survey from the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare. It's a large sample. It's done in a rigorous and, co and uh, consistent way, and uh, to the extent that we um, uh, use it for a lot of data around um, drug use uh, and patterns of uh, tobacco use, yes, we do rely on that. So you don't, you still don't place much credence on the KPMG study? No, Senator. All right. So. Um, let me read to you the, from the explanatory memorandum to the Treasury Laws Amendment Illicit Tobacco Offences Bill 2018, which states on pages 6 and 7 that, in a report on illicit tobacco in Australia, KPMG estimated that illicit tobacco accounted for approximately 14% <laughs> of total tobacco consumption in Australia in 2016. KPMG UK 2017, illicit tobacco in Australia 2016, full year report. So, in other words, the uh, explanatory memorandum for a bill introduced by the Minister uh, in relation to tobacco, illicit tobacco offences refers favourably to the KPMG um, report. Senator, that's not a bill in our portfolio. I'd have to um, take on notice our, uh, and ask for the ability to review that ourselves. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. I'll give you a little more to review. Uh, Is that to be the last question? You are very mean tonight. Yeah, right. um, so Ms. the explanatory memorandum uh, also states, higher excise and excise equivalent customs duty rates for tobacco improve the health of, ta of Tasmanians by discouraging tobacco consumption <coughs> and reducing their exposure to tobacco products. However, they significantly increase the risk of illicit tobacco being produced or manufactured domestically or imported into Australia. That's a direct quote from the explanatory memorandum. Do you, do you agree with that? Well, again, Senator, I think I'd have to uh, take on notice the, and ask for the ability to, for us to review that in detail and to consult with our colleagues. All right. Well, considering I'm being cut off, I'll... Um... <coughs> Thank you, sir. Um, I'll put some questions Senator on notice Griff, for you. you want